Hi, I'm Jason Gorbert, and we're here to look at the FIO uh, M17 Portable Player. Big shelf. So those of you who are the fans of the channel know that um, we occasionally do some of the higher end sort of uh, audio uh, devices looking at it. My um, personal player for um, several years now has been the FIO M15. Um, it's a really beautiful unit. Uh, when it came out, it was sort of their... Uh, their highest end model, um, nice little leather case. It has some aluminum um, fins on the back. It's got dual 4499 chips inside, I know. And essentially this is, for all intents and purposes, uh, the equivalent of old school iPod or personal music player. Um, similar shape um, factor. It's actually slightly smaller uh, physically um, uh, height-wise than a phone, but uh, uh, you know, um, thicker, more robust. It's not the lightest thing ever, but it does have uh, three headphone jacks on the, on the top. Um, um, one for uh, balanced, uh, one for, uh, sorry, two for balanced, one for 2.5 millimeter, one for four something millimeter, and a 3.5 millimeter regular uh, mini jack. Nice volume control. This has been great. Now, the limitations of the M15 are because of its age. Uh, you're unable to actually upgrade Android past a certain uh, point of... Um, which uh, prevents certain applications working at their best. It's a little bit slow and a little bit clunky. I bought it knowing that it was going to sort of work the way that it was going to work forever, or at least as as well as it was going to. That's one of the things that you get when you get these kind of uh, Android-based uh, players. What they usually do is take, in this case, um, a Qualcomm or a Samsung chip, and... Um, uh, they basically maximize it out so that it doesn't quite have the same operability as, let's say, a, a modern uh, mobile phone. It's many years um, uh, in the past in terms of that, but it just needs to do enough to do what it wants to do, which is to provide an excellent audio experience. Um, after the M15, they came out um, with the M17, which they went a bit crazy. Like, as ridiculous as the engineers um, were with this, um, our friends at FIO... Um, were given basically carte blanche to make whatever that they wanted to do. And, and they made something that's, you know, ostensibly portable, but let's be clear, this thing is a monster. If you're carrying it in your pocket, you get some pretty big pockets. And this, you can see the difference. There we go. There's an M17, obviously the big chunky brother beside it. Um, it is absolutely a monster. Um, on the top, four headphone jacks, uh, including a full um, phono style jack, um, um, actual quarter inch headphone style jack for those that wish to go that route. Big, beefy um, volume control. You have some LEDs on the side. Um, when I power it on, it'll actually sort of light up. Um, and as it, uh, 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 as it sort of uh, is structured, you can see it, it using many of the same design philosophies. You can see the similar um, uh, aluminum grills on the side for cooling. You can see the light sort of is probably a little bit bright, but uh, um, there's some red lights now. It's going to uh, purple as it lights up on the side and the screen goes up big. Massive screen, especially compared to my um, other model. Um, just an, a tank of a unit. Now, um, uh, in terms of its sound and its specifications, uh, it's considerable. What do we have? We have dual ES903 Pros. We've got dual THX AAA 788 um, amplifier amps. We've got the Qualcomm QCC 5124. Exmos stuff. Dual power supplies. Um, you can actually drive stuff out of this. It actually has coax out on the bottom with an actual proper coax uh, cord. It does have a... Um, AC input. Obviously it has USB-C input, but it has an AC input. Now I don't have that, but apparently it actually cranks the amplification up even more if you use that. Um, multiple audio, um, uh, audio interfaces, supports MQA and all that stuff. Um, dual USB-C, again, one is for um, to actually connect to USB host, the other you could be charging at the same time. And it's got a 9200 milliamp battery. The thing is a dank. It is not light. It is not inconsiderable. But why, like, would you ever, ever use something like this um, as a portable player? Frankly, I think the whole portability aspect is for convenience. In the same way that, like, 
let's say, you know, a gaming laptop is ostensibly portable. You can schlep it with you from place to place, but it's not something that you're going to sort of carry around with you all the time. What is nice is that in an all-in-one unit like this, you have an incredible playback device with absolute top-notch desktop quality, beyond desktop quality, uh, DAX in here. This supersedes uh, the specifications of many devices costing thousands and thousands of dollars more um, in terms of dedicated headphone amps and DAC and playback devices. This really is in a battery powered device, the equivalent of an incredibly high end thing that you would have as part of your list of components. There's absolutely no reason that this couldn't sit sort of on, on, on your stereo cabinet and actually be there as sort of a dedicated device for that. And if and when you decide that you're going to go, let's say to a cottage or somewhere, or maybe a very long flight and and you really need to have the best of the best this is something that you're um that you're actually going to pick up um there is this the uh, dk3 multifunction dock that i got to uh, see and you can see there's actual there's a fan on it controlled because the thing when it's in full mode does get pretty darn hot you can convert everything just like the M15, convert everything to DSD from any level. Um, it plays back almost anything you want to play back. It is phenomenal. It is a truly top of the class, the best portable portable um, player that I've ever um, heard. Does it sound better than the M15? I had a hard time hearing a difference between the two. I can't promise that my eyes are, uh, my eyes, <laughs> my ears are so attuned um, to know the microscopic differences, but clearly listening to something as sort of straightforward as let's say Tidal, or even to high resolution DSD files or FLAC files, um, certainly I would say both of them are excellent. What is undoubtedly superior on the M17 compared to um, my M15 is the speed of use. It is as if um, it, it's as if every sort of quibble that I had with the M15, every single thing that was not sort of behaving the way that I wanted to be on this device, is improved with this. Um, uh, songs load faster. I'm able to search faster. Even the way that it's actually indexing the USB is significantly faster. It's a more robust chip with better RAM in it. It's 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 a better device. The M17. Basically, this does everything that this does without the lag that I've sort of gotten used to on the um, on the previous device. I'll give you a real strong example, which is the Neil Young archives. That is something that is downloadable now. I'm the idiot who actually bought the Blu-ray version, but nonetheless, it is now subscription service. It's basically unusable on the um, at high resolution on the M15. There's just not enough bandwidth um, um, allocation on the device itself that when I select one of the high res stuff, I get dropouts, I get elements. The software simply does not work on the M15. Absolutely flawless on the M17. Worked like a, a treat. Simply, you know, navigating, scrolling up and down, little things that we've gotten used to or spoiled with our with our mobile devices, um, but how fit, fast everything is. It's just speedy. It's as if they took an M15 and said, what can we do to make this better just operationally? And all of that was fixed here. It absolutely can drive whatever we want to drive. Um, there'll be a, um, a forthcoming uh, video when you talk, when we talk about um, um, a pair of headphones that I had that actually work with it, which is uh, quite a treat. But yeah, I was able to run um, not only my balanced headphones, my balanced ear, in-ear monitors, but also I have a balanced cable for my... Um, my high, higher end Sennheiser, but also some old uh, quarter inch headphones. Really nice to actually just be able to plug them in and just have it work. This absolutely does a better job than any other device that I have of playing back um, on headphones. Much better than my very high end preamps, any of that stuff um, uh, that goes back a ways. This fundamentally does what you want it to do, which is to provide excellent playback, very convenient, does an extraordinary job with sound, um, it's just a tank. I mean, it's completely ridiculous for you to be carrying this around. It's it's a bloody brick. Um, that being said, the thing sounds so good and operates so well that um, I will definitely miss when I have to send it back. And yes, unfortunately, I have to send it back. Now, what do we learn from this? We learned that, yes, the, the new DACs are an improvement, at least 
on paper. Could I hear a radical difference between this and this? I could not. I'm sure on very specific tunes and very specific tracks, there'll be transient differences. This was already amazing. The M15 sounded incredible. Uh, the M17, M M17 just has slightly more specifications, especially for much harder to drive headphones that I'm driving with it. And so it does a better job. This certainly drives at a higher power than this and that is quite noticeable even without plugging it in on any of my devices the volume goes up i've gotten so used now with um bluetooth headphones that i've been testing a lot um, um uh, else on this channel and elsewhere a certain maximized of uh, volume and certain tracks especially non-contemporary tracks older stuff where it wasn't mastered at the absolute peak you really need to crank up the volume to actually get the most out of it to actually get the sound it's not a matter of blasting your ears it's a matter of getting the most impact out of something that has a very high dynamic range so that the louds are loud and the quiets are quiet and your your volume attenuation is right at the right point with a lot of bluetooth there's an obviously there's a max that they can do the bluetooth amplification is doing what's all the work and so with something like this with a device like this i can extract the most out of even the most challenging music tracks and get everything that i want to it's really phenomenal um again with the dock really nice to do it would be nice to see it actually plugged in and i could absolutely see this sitting beside a computer or sitting um, on my stereo rack and absolutely there that this would be the beast that i would play all of my digital files from anything that's actually saved and if and when i just want to take it let's say put it in the car take it take it um, um on a vacation where i know i'm going to be there for a long time and i really want to be doing some engaging listening this is something i would do am i going to go for a walk with this um or you know i'm clearly not somebody who goes to the gym but this is certainly not something that you would actually use for that nor really is this this is already a bit of a schlep but this one's just a monster what are we left with in the end well it just shows that um the the engineers at um fio just go all out and i love the sort of tenacity i love what they do they're like what can we do to absolutely maximize the most that we can get out of a form factor like this um just uh, you know absolutely sky's the limit what can we do and this is what they generate when they build something like this, it's done to sort of show off what they're capable of doing. What they're capable of doing is extraordinary. I will say what this does is makes me want this to be upgraded. And we just need a new version of the M15 that includes some of the components, not even the audio components, those, those would be nice, but simply the system on a chip components, the way that it actually works in terms of the amount of RAM, maybe even the battery um, size that has um, sort of changed so much between the M15 and the M17. So really the M17 made me love my M15 just as much, but wanting a better version of the M15. And if stories are to be uh, uh, proven true, it looks like we might actually be achieving that. Getting some trickle down stuff from the M17 to the M15, I can't wait for that. That will be sort of my prime. Because I find that this form factor, while big and slightly obnoxious and certainly another device to schlep when you're actually going somewhere certainly fits within the realm of I can put this in my pocket without sort of too much drama that I can um, be playing back either via Bluetooth or plugged in depending on what my uh, use circumstances if I'm in a plane I'm just going to use Bluetooth if I'm somewhere else I'll actually bring um, uh, the connectors for my headphones or another pair of headphones and actually get so I have loved having my M15 uh, I knew that it was going to be something that I would have long term the M17, M17 I had a wonderful chance to actually play with for a while and basically what I learned is that as amazing as it is as robust as it is this is just not something I would take anywhere I'm never going to take this to a beach believe it or not I take this to the beach I bring uh, proper over the ear headphones. I'm not bugging anybody. There's not so much uh, interference and I will sit there and listen with absolute, you know, top of the line, um, uh, headphones in an outdoor environment on the beach. Um, when it's sunny, it's actually quite a wonderful thing to do. Am I going to do that with that? No, this is going to be overkill. So for those in the market for something like this, that are, are going to be using it essentially as a dedicated DAC, plugging your laptop into this, and this essentially becomes your sound card, um, plugging in the headphones on a regular basis and staying at home and listening, using this instead of having a full stereo system, that this becomes essentially your digital front end. The M7, M17 does an absolutely stellar, world-class leading job of doing that. There's, there's really, I mean, uh, there, there's a few things that are sort of touch upon it, but really there's there's nothing quite as good or quite as robust in this that does everything that actually allows you to have a full portable DAC um, and headphone amp 
and playback device actually have storage in here. Um, no, there's not uh, two micro SDs. Yeah, you can put it in a terabyte, but it would be nice for me to have two. Uh, there's certainly enough room in here. My dream is that they start doing that again. I know the old Fios did it, but there's a problem with the way that the chips work and Android works with having two of them. Uh, you know, I would just like to have as much storage on here as possible, not just for streaming when I'm there, so I can just load up a couple terabyte micro SDs and just have the vast majority of the stuff that I want um, sort of long-term on both of those cards. If all I could do is a terabyte, it's certainly better than when I had a 64 megabyte um, iPod equivalent. Um, uh, plays Flax, plays DSD, does everything that you want it to do. It's an absolutely incredible device that makes me dream and hope desperately for the upgrade of the M15 and being able to get that and actually see everything that's sort of built in here in terms of its functionality put into this. For that shelf.com, I'm Jason Gorber. I would love to know on, in the comments what you think about, you know, whether or not you're even using devices like this anymore, whether it's just ridiculous and you just use your phone or use your phone with, um, with another dongle that actually serves as a DAC, something like a Cord Mojo, any of that kind of stuff, or whether you still think that there's a place in the world for something that's essentially an, uh, the old school personal uh, device. This is, this is a direct um, derivation from uh, portable transistor radios to Walkman to iPods to something like this. Th this is like the, the space age version of everything you saw there. It would be nice for it to get slightly more micro and to see everything that we get in here in something like that. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. Let us know again in the comments what you think about all this and we will see you next video. All the best. Thanks for watching.